but I'm gonna assume that I'm not. Okay. So it's no secret that I took a break in 2017, and in 2017, what I focused on was music, writing music. I took a break from YouTube and making videos and all that stuff, and those were kind of things I decided like later on in the year as the year progressed and as it got I wouldn't say increasingly difficult but challenging to make videos and to make videos on a regular basis and then on top of that make them interesting and funny and all this other stuff but one of the things that I do just do is write music and I've been writing music since I was a teenager I think I've been writing music since I was young I don't know um, what I do know is that I have this notebook and this notebook is like the oldest notebook I probably maybe have one before it but this notebook actually like this was like my actual new music notebook like it was like look at look at this like do you see this name autumn lee cross like that's back when my last name was cross um like music locked in my heart the it, the magical lands of okay nope we're not gonna go there but on the front page i did write this and you know i still I, I don't know. I feel like I probably wrote this when I was like 14, maybe younger. Um, but this is what it looks like. And then it reads uh, music. I love music. I love the sound it emits, the feel of whatever is being played, the voice that has courage enough, the voice that has courage enough. I want to sing. A song. I want to play my guitar. I will sing a song. A happy one. The one that everyone will sing to someday. I'll stand on stage with my guitar and I will play a sound. A sound so sweet nobody will turn away. Others will be jealous. Many will want to learn. I want to inspire people. To make people want to get up and dance. No matter how bad they are at it. My music will change lives of few and soon many. I will work hard to change the world with my music and I will play loud to show you that I care, that I love you. And soon we will get back together, soon. I mean, I don't know who that last bit was directed towards. Maybe it wasn't. Um, directed towards anyone in, in turn, but in this notebook, um, I wrote, I wrote songs and it was back when I was trying to like really, really learn, like, like I was really trying to find myself musically, um, but I don't know what happened. I I kind of um, just stopped. I, I, I just wanted to share this. We can look at this another time, but I wanted to share some of the things that I wrote last year. I don't, I have like three songs here that I wrote that I, th that are, they're short. They're, they're, they're short and they're, they're kind of like, I don't, I don't want to say throwaways, but they're, they're not really, I don't know. I like from what one would expect, cause I don't think of myself as a writer and I never really thought of myself as a musician. However, I've noticed that I do write a fuck ton and I write a fuck ton of music and Honestly, this is a part of who I am, and quite frankly, 
I'm stalling so that I don't have to share because this is this is like making me nervous. Like I'm breaking out in cold sweats. This is nothing. This isn't something that I've done and told other people. And for me to just kind of take that sharp left turn and put it on my YouTube where you know anyone and everyone can see it, it it's a vulnerable thing to do, but. I wanted to share this. So, uh, I have three songs. The first one, this one, is called Legroom. I got a lot on my mind, the stresses from eviction versus the thrill of chasing a vision. It's hard to find time to make moves when you're busy hitting the snooze. I swear to, I just clocked out. When I'm on my grind, I can't take things slow. I need to grow in order to pick up my family because we're scattered across the globe. All I want is a place to call home. It helps when I travel. I don't usually get a lot of leg room, so I take frequent trips to the restroom to wash my face and to make sense of everything that vexes me. I got too many people interested in me, invested in me, to give up and not to project what I preach. You need to set an example. I'm not angry when I speak. I'm just passionate, and I know you can see who the target is. The next of the black kids who are trapped in the closet in fear of being looked at like they're wrong. All I really need is leg room. All I really need is an honest tune. A beat to beat the ones who beat the ones who are different from you. A fist not to punch but to raise in unison for the ones that we love. All I really need is leg room. Okay. I... I think I wrote this one on the bus. Um... I... Uh, this one is fairly recent. I really... I, I, wrote this one last year and I remember writing it because um, I was on the bus and I was going to work and um, this was probably maybe like the day after or the or like the day of um, if you haven't known I've been living with my sister in in Buffalo and we were this is getting a bit personal, but we were slapped with an eviction notice from our landlord and we got it solved, everything's fine now. But at the time, it really wasn't what we needed because we, were, we weren't making as much as we needed to and just Buffalo fucking sucks in terms of like jobs and, and just everything. Like the quality is, it seriously took a, a sharp turn. And I like this this song a lot, mainly because I, I often do ride in cars, and it's not even just cars, like trains, buses, everything. Like I don't get a lot of legroom at all, and like when I find legroom, like it's the best fucking thing in the world. It is like legroom to me is is like having personal space. It's like having a door to the bathroom, basically, and. That's why, you know, I ended the song with, like, all I need is legroom, you know, like, I don't really need much, but, you know, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so, the second one here is called Aquarium, and it's really short, uh, but I really like it because it's just one of those, like, uh, just kind of, like, offhand songs, in a sense, it's, it's, you'll see, okay. Thought about getting gills tattooed on my neck, I think that'd be dope. Be half shark or whale with a smooth ass tail. Wish I could see in salt water, without burning my eyes, I guess I'm not special, I, I know how to swim, where did that stereotype come from, that nigga sinks like rocks, that's fucking dumb, that's just really fucking stupid. Wonder what fish do in the winter when it, the water's cold. Do they hibernate in the coral reeds below, or do they swim south for warmth? I'd look it up, but I'm on a roll. I imagine the flow like a river, and everyone drowning in it. Not me. I've got barely six toes in. I can't rap worth a damn when it counts for it. Tripping and fumbling in these size 13s. Can't keep them clean. I like that one because it, it, it was genuinely like a thought that I had. 
like this song is is just based on um, questions about fish that I just had, and I honestly still do think getting gills tattooed on my neck would be a cool idea. <laughs> um, I never really thought that I would write like this. Like, I don't know. I definitely have a style, even though it's simple. And that's a that's a thing. Like in in aquarium, I talk about the, the flow being like a river, and like everybody's drowning in the flow because they have these amazing like verses and just like it hits like. When a, when a bar is solid as fuck, like, you feel it, like, you, it registers. With my music, I don't really push for it, I don't really care for it, but at the same time, it's nice, because it's easier to then sing. And a lot of the times, I write like this, but I speak like this, so if I try to speak what I write, you can kind of see where it goes. And, you know, that's a big insecurity of mine, just like not having that flow, like not being as, as, as fluent as other people when they write their music. But I like to think that my, my music is more genuine, in a sense. So, uh, this last one that I wanted to share is called Quality Control. Um, just gonna send. I don't do what I do for sh I don't do what I do just for show. I like to keep up a rhythm on a quest to master my flow. I don't mind getting naked, but I can't write when I smoke. It takes me out of my head and I can't control that upset, so I'd rather focus on my music instead. Can't take the stage with cotton mouth. Not interested in half the shit these rappers talk about. More scared for the youth on the park bench because the way they love is different from what mommy and daddy can test. Substance, concoctions, it's all that I'm not. And I'd lose my life if I ever lose sight of the mission. Protect my tenno, teach my children. Never take the easy route, learn from my struggles without a doubt. Give it up one time for the rosebuds. The message forever the same, just show love. So you see what I mean, like, um, quality control, definitely more, like, like, I think of it as like a one-two step. Whenever I write music, I always think of it in, like, terms of, like, twos or threes. I don't try to go crazy, like, 16 fucking bars at once or whatever. I don't even know what a bar is, to be honest. Like, when it comes to music, I, I, like, I can understand it. And I can write it. That's about it. Like, I tried uh, fucking with, uh, what was it called? Um, it was called FL Studio. I tried messing around with that, but, uh, like I said, I'm not musically inclined. I I don't know. I guess it's, it's trial and error. I would have to dabble with it a bit more. But those were three songs, three songs that I liked and that I wanted to share. Um, let me know if you want me to go through my old music notebook because there there are like a, a few songs in here, like at least two or three songs in here worth worth sharing, worth talking about. And um, uh, let me know what you think. And if you have any tips or tricks or you make beats or produce music yourself, you know, Hit me up. I'm always looking for somebody else to collaborate with or to work with because this is being open and honest and out with my music is something that's that's kind of new to me. And when it comes to music, I don't know shit. Like I don't know how to read music. I don't really know how to write music in a sense. So. Other than that, um, feel free to check out my other shit, and follow me on Twitter. Uh, Instagram, there's two, but I'm mainly on Twitter, so.